And we're in search of the craziest fish in the ocean, the dog tooth tuna. G'day guys, we're on a four month adventure camping and exploring some of the most remote and wildest parts of Australia while living from the land and sea. Wow, check this out. There'd be a million birds there, the whole, look at that. Oh, oh no, this mum thinks she's still got an egg, but there's a baby underneath it. This is just incredible, hey? And we're in search of the craziest fish in the ocean. After an eventful night surrounded by nesting turtles and not much sleep for us, we're up early to give ourselves the best chance at catching a big fish. The sun is finally back out, but we got some miles to put under the belt and as always, we're in search of our favorite fish, aren't we? Yeah, guys, the dog tooth tuna for the past three months, they have been eluding us, but I guess that is the draw of the doggies. They're so damn hard to find and to get. But we're gonna be traveling through some areas today which uh, you know look likely on the chart, so fingers crossed we can find them. Yeah. And man, it'd be amazing if we could catch one because they're just such a, a prize catch and so beautiful to eat, hey? Yeah, so subscribe and come look for one with us. Let's go get these damn doggies. I just dropped Jack off and apparently it's a doggy first dive. Good sign, good sign. Just taking a good dive. Let's see what happens to the float. If the floats get pulled, then I'm gonna have to run. I'm so excited. like the floats are getting pulled quite deep. Whoa! I think we're on guys! Look at the floats going! Ah! Quick! Quick, 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 quick! Shut up, boots. Where is Jack? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's see if he wants the other gun. Do you want the other gun? Second gun? Oh, I wish I could be in the water with him. I need a pass for this. Can you just grab his tail and I'll help you? There's just a shark here. Yeah. Uh, it's in the boat! You got it? Yeah! Woohoo! You did it! Yes! Well done! Three months of trying and waiting and we've finally, finally got a dog to tuna, our favourite fish. One fish came in to start with and I really got my hopes up but he was pretty shy. Um, and he kept swimming off, he kept swimming off. I didn't think I'd get a chance at him, but this was him. We're gonna eat well for him for a couple of days, sashimi. So it's 8.50 a.m. We don't know what to do with the day now. <laughs> Going back to bed. I haven't even had a coffee yet. Oh, we've now got plenty of food for a couple of days at least. So we're gonna start cruising south, making the most of this good weather until hopefully finding somewhere else to set up camp this afternoon. Along the way, we're gonna be traveling past some pretty epic locations that I'm really keen to jump in and have a snorkel at. So we'll see what we can find along the way. Now from the charts, this spot here looks pretty incredible, hey? So pretty lucky to have a day out here with no swell, but what it is, is these like vertical drop-offs from, you can see the shallow reef there and it just drops vertically down to like hundreds and then thousands of meters. Um, but in there, there's kind of like some reef cracks that go in and they're always like a real hot spot for fish So we're gonna jump in with a mask and snorkel and camera and just see what's hanging out out here I've been hoping to get to this specific spot for a couple of years. So I'm pretty excited for it Just amazing, eh? As soon as I jumped in, there's big coral trout and GTs everywhere. And then it's quite eerie, actually. The drop-off just goes down into the abyss. It's quite spooky, but down there, there's all sorts of big fish lurking. So pretty amazing to, to have a swim here. Now it's time to keep moving south. Holy moly. Have a look and a listen to where we've just arrived at. Lucky you can't smell it. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, we thought we were immersed in nature last night. Check this out. There'd be a million birds there, the whole, look at that. This is just incredible, hey? Look at them. I don't reckon they get too many visitors out here and they're all coming to check us out. Wowee, this place is pretty special, hey? What's the plan, Fran? Oh, this anchorage is unreal. The water is crystal clear, so we're gonna jump in and check it out. Nice, let's do it, eh? Oh, cool was 
was sleeping, hey? Did you see that turtle? Yeah. Had a bite out of the sea? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy, like a turtle bite. This place is amazing. There's so many turtles here. And then there's birds flying over the top of our heads. Incredible, hey? What an amazing snorkel, hey? So many big turtles. I think they're all waiting their turn to come up and nest. And so many big coral trout as well. Like that's the sign of a really healthy reef when there's a lot of coral trout because they're the first fish to get taken off when the, when the reefs get overfished here in Australia. Absolutely amazing. All right, let's go ashore and have a bit of an explore. Walking around in a wildlife documentary, it's just amazing. Just need David Attenborough here narrating it all. Here we have stricken Fran, my favorite YouTubers, completely immersed in a natural wonderland, and I strongly recommend that you all subscribe to their channel. What a fish! Oh, what an amazing fish, eh? These guys really are the boss of the reef edges. We see them at times swimming through and literally scaring sharks out of the way. So these guys are top dogs. Have a go at the set of teeth on them. Crazy, crazy set of teeth. And one of the hints why they're so hard to find for us Spiros is in this big eye. That big eye means that they can see really well in low light and like deep, deep water. So there's only certain times of the month when the currents are doing the right things. These guys come up a bit shallower and then that's our chance. Pretty amazing fish, eh, Fran? Very much so. Right, time to fill it up. We are going to be eating well for a couple of days now. First and foremost, we're gonna get some sashimi. These dog tooth tuna are beautiful sashimi. That's raw fish and oh man, they just taste so, so good. What do you got going there, Fran? Some lunch. <laughs> Today in the castaways Sente kitchen <laughs> for lunch, sashimi. Nice. Dog tuna sashimi. Oh, what are you doing, friend? I'm getting the two out for a. Uh, Christmas gift for Jet. <laughs> All I can say is I'm glad you're not my dentist because, oh, she's pretty rough with these. Actually, it reminds me of getting my wisdom teeth out. Oh, they're breaking. I only got two out. Alrighty, let's go for a bit of a walk and have an explore around this little sand cave. <laughs> what are you whispering? <laughs> I don't want to spook the birds. Look at this big one. What's that big one there, friend? On yeah. the beach. What's he doing, friend? So this guy over here is just bad brain is true and um, I'm not good with that so Jack is thinking is to regulate his body temperature 
I'm not sure. <laughs> Let us know if you know in the comments. How yeah. many bears do you reckon there are? Oh, thousands, eh? Thousands. There's a few obviously different species. We'll try and get up a little bit closer and get some footage. What are you seeing, Fran? The babies are so cute. They are, aren't they? So this is a pretty amazing here. We've got all the different stages of life. Some of these booby birds are sitting on an egg. Then there's others that have hatched and the babies are just so cute, white and fluffy. And then there's some which are in that kind of almost awkward teenage days where they're not quite sure what color to wear. They're not quite sure what to do with their hair. We've all been there. Even Fran had a bit of a punk phase back in the day. And then there's some which uh, are at the stage that they look like they're ready to to, uh, to leave the nest and go and fly off and fend for himself. Just amazing, eh? What's that? The mom is sitting on one, like, really tiny egg. Oh, oh no! Thinking it's still on egg. This mom thinks she's still got an egg, but there's a baby underneath it. That's so funny. Oh! Oh! <laughs> she's squishing it. Head back and have some lunch over him. There's a big storm coming. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll, we'll go see. get ready for that. Lunch time. Yeah, I can't wait. Really doesn't get much better than this, I don't think, Fran. This is just a perfect day so far. Lunch with a view. <laughs> Getting curious. Yeah, they are, aren't they? I think they want a bit of dog tooth tuna. So we've got dog tooth tuna, raw, but with a squeeze of lemon juice on top. Soy so sauce. Soy sauce, wasabi, on a cracker. Very good. Five out of five of what? Five out of five. Difficulty? Difficulty. Five, <laughs> five out of five for sure. Six out of five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the hardest. Mm. All right, time to cook up some dinner. I've just noticed behind us here, there's turtles starting to come in and find a prime spot to, to nest tonight. It's a pretty amazing backdrop with the turtles in the foreground and then all the birds behind them. We're just gonna stay down the, the front beach here, keep it pretty quiet and let them go about their business up there. Go for it, Fran. How is it? Uh, yeah. Five out of five, better than Tarsimi, I think. Five out of five, this would be five out of five. This is honestly unbelievable, guys. This has got to be one of the best sunsets we've had. It's all come together for us. On this day, the, the nature overload, the sunset, the doggy, probably one of the best meals. Man, we're feeling pretty good right now. Hope you guys are enjoying this as much as we are. What an amazing part of the world, eh? Whoa, <laughs> there's, there's drones going. <laughs> 
And we honestly feel so grateful, so privileged to be able to be out here experiencing places like this. This is, is truly a, uh, you know, a life highlight right now. How's it look from your angle, friend? I must have taken like hundreds of the same shots because it's <laughs> getting better and better. <laughs> that sunset out there is epic. <laughs> 